One of the questions we get asked quite a bit is how to clean the microwave. But one of the comments we always get is, Melissa, your thing is so clean and I actually wanna see a dirty thing when you're cleaning it. So I've really shied away from doing a microwave video because I have to say, if I may do so myself, my microwave's in really good shape. So what I'll do is tell you how I keep it clean and I have a couple of cool tips that I'll share with you, but I need to figure out a way to get it. Got it, be back. Chef Boyardee, feeding children and dirtying microwaves for probably 60 years. I bet you this nasty pasta for five minutes uncovered in my microwave will make quite the mess. All right, it's been five minutes. Let's see the results. Okay, I guess my plan worked. Ravioli's everywhere, on the top, the bottom, the sides. Well, five minutes of ravioli sitting uncovered in my microwave did a pretty good job at messing it up. Congratulations. Now, I'm gonna use another bowl with something else in it for five minutes in the microwave as the direct antidote to the mess I just created with the ravioli. So all you'll do is take a bowl, fill it about halfway with water, cut a lemon in half, and then juice the lemon into the bowl. Then you'll pop this in the microwave for five minutes, and you're going to give your microwave a facial. The reason this works so well is because the lemon and the water create steam in this contained chamber we call a microwave. For five minutes, all this concoction is doing is clinging to the walls and the dirt, breaking it down, making it very easy to wipe away when those five minutes are up. Using a dampened microfiber cloth, clean the insides of the microwave, starting with the sides, getting the top, as well as the bottom. Don't forget to remove that little plate and clean that as well. Now obviously you don't want to do this when the microwave is piping hot, but you want to do it when it's warm because that's going to make the cleaning a lot easier. If a microfiber cloth isn't cutting it for you, switch to a double-sided sponge or a scraper and that will help get rid of any extra gunk. Don't forget to clean inside the door as well, and you can even take your microfiber cloth, dip it into that lemony water, and clean any buttons or dials on your microwave. If you wanna be extra good, you can even clean underneath your microwave. Just move it out of the way, give it a wipe, and put it back. You'd be quite surprised what you can find under there. A great tip if you wanna avoid any of those crazy splatters in the future is to take a bowl similar to the shape and size of the bowl you're going to be using to cook with and use that to cover up the food. I do this all the time and it keeps my microwave spotless. The thing I love about this routine is that I can do something else while the microwave is doing the work for me. So really in terms of scrub time it only takes me about two to three minutes plus I don't know maybe 30 seconds to cut the lemon and add water. So it's a really quick method. I love it. It works really well and I hope it works for you as well. Let me know if you have any microwave cleaning tips by dropping them in the comment box below. If you like the video, don't forget to give it the thumbs up. And of course, hit subscribe if you found this video helpful because there's tons of other videos that you will love too. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. You guys always ask about how to keep it clean, but unfortunately, I'm gonna retake that. Back in my kitchen because all the. Bleh, bleh, ugh.